You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my review for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Now, before we get into this review, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. Super Mario Brothers movie is a 2023 animated action adventure film from Illumination Studios and Nintendo that follows Mario and Luigi when they get sucked into another world. Mario must join forces with Peach to take down Bowser in order to save his brother. The film stars the vocal talent of Chris Pratt, Anya Taylor-Joy, Jack Black, Charlie Day, and Seth Rogen. Naturally, I had to pick up the AMC bucket, and yes, I am still salty. I did not get one of those 20-sided die for Dungeons & Dragons, but I did manage to pick up the little Mario box, okay? But other than that, my Nintendo <clears throat> fandom certainly mostly lies with Pokemon. Of course, I've played some Mario in my time, particularly Mario Kart, where I am always Yoshi. The trailers certainly caught my interest, particularly getting to see Rainbow Road, and obviously the animation looked fun. It looked like it was going to be a fun time. I always go into an Illumination project trepidatious, to say the least. There are more meh animation studio out there right now than Illumination itself? Hmm, I don't know, but whatever they're doing, it sure makes money, so who can knock them for that? And ultimately, I do think that the Super Mario Brothers movie is pretty much an Illumination film with a Mario skin on. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives first. The world of Super Mario is a lot of fun. When they lean into the Marioisms, it is a good time. And I think mega fans of the Mario character and the Mario franchise in the video games are probably going to have an absolute blast watching this, catching all these Easter eggs, these little characters. It's really fun to see Mario having to take on the obstacle courses we've taken on many a time playing Super Mario Brothers. As I said, the whole Rainbow Road and the Mario Kart references are a good time. They spared no expense at immersing you into the world of the Super Mario Brothers. I also thought that the original score was fantastic in this movie. Not only does it utilize the Mario music we know, the theme songs or the different sounds made into more of a composition throughout, but the original pieces were pretty amazing as well. I actually loved the music here. Needle drops, mm, less enthused, but the score itself, great. As for the vocal talent, I think Jack Black is hands down far and away the standout of this film he is having so much fun as bowser and it's amazing and bowser as a character is probably one of the big highlights of the film in a way the most i laughed and the most that my theater laughed were moments when bowser broke out in to song yes we get the vocal stylings of jack black in film once more and they are used to perfect effect here outside of jack black i thought the rest of the voice work was solid i thought seth rogan was actually quite good anya taylor joy and chris pratt were both better than expected i still didn't like fall head over heels for either of their vocal performances but they were better than we had thought they would be watching that trailer serviceable it's a serviceable good time at the movies overall you have fun you eat popcorn your kids have fun you see the characters you've always loved and you go on with life also this may show you that i'm not like an uber mario fan that's played these games there's this little ghost this little blue ghost in this film that i adored he was actually the best character move to the side bowser this little swirling ghost of doom and gloom me me in the film representation at its finest 
then what doesn't work so well when it comes to Super Mario Brothers? I have to say that the animation is clean. It's good. It's clean. It mostly works. However, some of the textures I just personally didn't love. And some of the animation well, felt a little bit rudimentary in comparison to the great animation that takes place. So I would say the animation is a bit uneven and, dare I say, a bit uninspired. And unfortunately, that's kind of an illumination staple, being uninspired, because that's what this script is as well. It's very bare bones. The story is a generic hero story that we've seen time and again. Thankfully, we do have all the Mario-isms and the fan service to make it a little bit more fun and punch it up. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know, I didn't find the jokes to be all that funny. There's a funny joke here, a funny joke there. Honestly, the film just heavily relies on nostalgia in general. And when you push all of that nostalgia and love for the property to the side, you're left with a fine animated film. At the end of the day, I don't have all that many negatives for the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's a well put together film. It's competently made. However, I also don't have all that many positives for the Super Mario Brothers movie because it does feel kind of uninspired. Like I said in my intro, it very much feels like an illumination film, first and foremost. Bare bones script most often plays to some of the lowest common denominators, but thankfully, Mario is just such an iconic character, and there's so much to pull from in this imaginative world, and they utilize that just well enough for this to be a fun time. And if you choose to see the Super Mario Brothers movie, which it seems like a lot of folks are, make sure you stay all the way through the credits because there is a mid credit scene and a post credit scene. So you have two scenes there that certainly show they're confident that we're getting a sequel or a spin off to this film. Overall, if you're a fan of the Super Mario games, I think you have fun with this. I think it's a fun time, it's enjoyable, the references are all there. It's bright, it's colorful, it's fast-paced, barely over an hour and a half. So if you have a family, this is a great film. We've been starved for family-related content in 2023, and I think this will definitely scratch that itch. But uh, if the trailers just kind of looked bland, if you're not a big Mario fan, honestly, you could probably just skip this one. I don't think it's going to really change your mind on any front. That is my review for the Super Mario Brothers movie. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below, and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. What did you think of Super Mario Brothers? Let me know either in the comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Mwah! Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.